obviously this this sort of idea appeals to people like me because I don't forget how hard it was to get gigs. You know, it was as I said, next to impossible. It's something that should be happening. I think it's something that probably will happen as well because coming back to the X Factor thing, I think there's you know whether you watch it or not. My kids watch it as well. You know. I make sarcastic comments when I come in the room, but they just think it's my age. If they sat when they get to their age, maybe 15, 16, when they t- can talk to me seriously about it, I, I can show them some history of why the alternative is better. There's, there's a parallel world that they don't understand that lies next to X Factor. You know, like my middle daughter likes the Arctic Monkeys and she she doesn't understand she understands there's something different about them but she doesn't understand that where they came from and what they what they came from was um you know homespun so to speak and wasn't suddenly like alex turner going in front of simon cowell so there's there's a danger that that people don't know uh places like yours exists um exist and but i think it's also going to turn against X Factor because people aren't stupid. You know, that they, they've watched it this year and said, oh, it's just the same as last year, we're getting bored with it. And that, there's only so many tears you can cry over so-and-so's cat that's died the night before. And, and kids aren't stupid, they see through it.